Welcome back, everybody, to another episode of FYC Film Review. I'm your host, Gagne, and with me, my partner in crime, Naldo. How are you, buddy? What's up, man? How's it going, everybody? Uh, it's good to be back. Yes. Yeah, great to be doing another recommended viewing. I always enjoy those. Yeah, we got a lot of recommendations for this one as well. So um, this is uh, this is our third Indian film that we're going to be watching. And so the last two have been gems and just fantastic movies. And those have been RRR and uh, On on the Dune, which was just fantastic. They say third time's a charm. Unfortunately for this, it just, <laughs> it's not, <laughs> it wasn't. It wasn't. Yeah, yeah. And I will say, you know, as a disclaimer that, you know, culturally, like there could be things that I don't understand. Um, I think things get lost in translation when you're having it on, being transcribed basically into another language so that you can read yeah. it and yet i think there's there's things that i i didn't like about the movie that don't have to do with that um and so yeah i'm interested to get into it yeah uh and just uh you know like like you said you know there's culturally we, we don't understand some things um so go easy on us because we're going to pick this thing apart and it's okay to have different opinions so that's why movies are great right because one movie can mean something great to somebody else and to somebody else it could just mean jack so. i mean that's a great point and that's yeah. it's, it's art it's subjective yeah. it's uh it's up to interpretation exactly so. and guess what we're not right these are just opinions so these are just our opinions take it or leave them or just enjoy the ride as we comment on the movie especially being first time viewers so i, I yes. do enjoy when it's a movie that we neither of us have seen um and can kind of running dialogue you know discuss it and while yeah. we're watching and uh, then get into it now yeah, I mean, just the the opening of the movie looks great. I feel like like RRR just looked beautiful, just when it just the way it shot. And this movie looks great too. I really wanted to like it. I thought that the beginning was pretty cool, uh, but but then Shiva arrives. You know, should we get our our protagonist, and he's just so unlikable. He's yeah. so unlikable. I almost liken it to like a, an anti-hero, right? Like it's a bad guy that we're supposed to cheer for in a way. Like he doesn't come across as somebody who I guess you're really supposed to think is like this ex exalted one, like this amazing, like, yeah, the village that he lives in, they all kind of look to him because he's like the enforcer, basically. <laughs> like he's right. the he's the guy that they send in, you know, to deal with the shit that no one else wants to deal with. Right. But but an RRR, that was Beam, right? Ice. Sure. But he was so humble and he yeah. treated everybody with just kindness and gentleness. Yeah, he protects them, uh, Shiva, but the dude's arrogant. He's a, he's a, he's, he's got a bad temper and he just wants to fight. And I just, I just had a hard time liking him. Yeah, there's, there's not a lot to like, I guess, really in that regard. I, I don't, I struggle to find like, where he has like, I was looking for a redemption arc almost, you know, like right. he he kind of mistreats, not kind of, he does mistreat his wife, his, Leah, Leah, you know, Leah, his love, yeah. like he does yeah. from the, from the jump, their the relationships really, you know, he pinches her and then he and shoves it, her out of the way. He knocks her plate down. Then he just shoves her to the ground. <laughs> yeah. There's, there's, that doesn't sit well on any it character. Is. And so you're hoping at the end of this, that there's this redemption, you know, yeah. But it doesn't seem to really happen. It's just kind of like, well, this is who he is. <laughs> like, right, yeah. It, it, okay. It's, you know, maybe the actor might be good, but I don't know. Like, the character they told him to play, if they told him to play, hey, play this arrogant dude who's just always hot-tempered, I don't know. It just it just comes across as just unlikable. By half of the movie, I was rooting for the, for the forest officer to kind of teach him a lesson and kick his ass a little bit. I did feel like he was misunderstood. You know what I mean? Like he's he's out there just kind of doing his job and really like, it, it seemed like they were all kind of, they had the same goal, right? Like they were trying to protect the forest. Like the village the land stay in the forest. Because of deity, right? The, right. The, the deity that was given to them throughout the years. Right, but the forest, guy just wants to he wants to protect the forest too like he's looking to set up boundaries and protect the wildlife yeah. and that power struggle was interesting because i'm like am i really supposed to think that guy's a bad guy like right he didn't really seem like he was that bad so, <laughs> yeah, i know you find and, out later he's not really the the main antagonist of course but no well, it's the landlord right for half the movie the he is though yeah but he's just trying to do his job right sometimes we see authority figures as bad guys but he's because he's just trying to do his job so shout out to the actor who plays 
Shiva, Rishab, Rishab Shetty, I'm, if I'm pronouncing that wrong, I apologize, but he also wrote and directed this. So that's a tough task. Like being the star of the movie, writing the movie and directing the movie, Yeah, kudos. Like he plays that character well. It's just not a very likable character. It's not, it's not a very likable character. Uh, I want to talk about the deity, the, the demigod. It was too much woes for me. I don't yep. understand it. Yeah, and that's a, an issue I have with the movie is that you could, I think I would have enjoyed this if it would have just been edited down a little bit. You know, you don't need so much of that, um, that you, you were introduced to it at first. And like, I, I get it if that's the only way that that deity like communicates, but like it speaks. Yeah. So you don't really need to do that constantly, especially not <laughs> over and over and over throughout the movie. Like yeah. we get it in dream sequences, we get it in the beginning, we get it in the end. Um, I, I, for for what it's worth, I enjoyed the action scenes. Yeah, uh, they're the, they're the, shot beautifully. The slow motion, you can see yes. every detail. It's got an RR quality to it. Absolutely, great direction there. Like that scene where they're battling with, I guess, in the blacksmith uh, hut, if you will. You know mm -hmm. where the the sword maker is. Yeah. Um, beautiful. Like I, I just watched John Wick recently, and like this was probably choreographed as good if not better than you know some of those scenes like sure really really good stuff there and it's like if you would have just i don't know truncated the story a little bit like maybe not had so much in the middle where it's like we're yeah. just following shiva around and he's kind of a dick and i don't <laughs> know why like why do people like him why do i want to love this guy right. why do i care at the end if he saves the village I, he could have been his wife for all i cared as as the you know middle ground forest officer who's just out trying to get a job and, you know, gets shit for it. <laughs> like, yeah. And she gets a bad rap in this movie. She does. She really does. Uh, and uh, gosh, I, I don't, I, I don't know what to say, man. I really, I wanted this guy to have a beam quality where you, he's humble and you really connect with him. Again, I'm going to go take it back to our R and beam. He's just so humble. He's not yeah. nice. He's a nice guy. You want to like him. You want to be with him. You want to hang out with him. This guy, this guy just sounds like the guy at the bar who's obnoxious and drinks too much and just starts fights. I don't want to be around that guy. Yeah. Uh, maybe you do if you want to save your village, but <laughs> not if you want to have a spouse or, you know, a friend or, I mean, I, he, he yells at all of his friends, calls them all dumbasses. Like, it's just like, it's so, yeah. he drinks and smokes a ton, you know, no judgment. I have a drink and I'll smoke occasionally, but come on. Like, this is like absurd. Like he just, yeah. he has this, these innate qualities that just really are unlikable. Uh, I did enjoy the finale. I, I thought sure. when he was uh, possessed or the, the deity, uh, took over his body. I thought that was kind of cool. It looked good. Really the cool. fighting scene was good. Except he acted his ass off in that scene. Like he did. Yeah. Like, wow. Like I was like, oh, I'm in now. But mm -hmm. how long did it take us to get there? Exactly. And then as soon as he entered him, I mean, I must have counted like like thirty or fifty woes. <laughs> you know. <laughs> oh. uh, the 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 woes were yeah the woes were a little tough. Um, in the end, Shiva wins. He gets possessed by the deity deity and uh the then like everybody holds hands in this festival and it's all good and then he goes in this circle and disappears with his dad boom he's gone <laughs> i think or that was his dad he? he is gone it, or right? is he i don't know <laughs> is there a kantara too does that is it another one i don't think there is okay uh if there is one well, then you know we'll, we should actually dive in and see if <laughs> I don't know. We got a lot of recommendations. We have a bunch of recommendations that we got to get through. So I don't know if I could go to part two, if there is a part two. Nope. This one didn't suck me in enough to really warrant a, a second one. I, I enjoyed some stuff about it, but most of all, I think it just, it suffers from, you know, too long of a running time and, and yeah. just not a concise story. Agreed. Want to rate it? Let's rate it. Okay. Let's rate it. Like, whoa. Five. <laughs> okay, let's go with woes. Uh, one woe uh, being really bad. Five woes being uh, just uh, our, our quality. I'm always going to compare to our art because I freaking love that movie. Uh, I will go first this time because I think yeah. you went first this time. All right. Let's do it. Uh, I'm going to go with uh, go with two and a half woes because I really like the way it looks. I think this could have been a really great movie, but I think it's way too long. 
you need to have your hero just be likable or have a redeeming quality the dude's just not a very nice guy he treats his girl really bad he shoves her and he's doing all these things and he, he I, I he's not likable he's just not a likable character and for that it just took it way down for me uh I, I don't know. I wanted. I really wanted to like it. Unfortunately, this one missed the mark. So I'm going to go with two and a half woes. Fair, fair. I think I was pretty close to that at first. Um, I was probably actually lower than that about halfway through the movie. And I think they really brought it home at the end. Um, I, I liked the setup at the beginning. I yeah. liked how they brought it out, you know, finished it at the end. Um, good action sequences. And I really enjoyed the music and the director writer actor like you know again props for for that so i'm going three i think okay. uh i i enjoyed half the movie you know yeah. first half or the first part the end part and some little bits and pieces here and there but yeah, yeah a, a three three woes three woes okay all right um <laughs> hey you know we can't love them all and that's okay we have opinions and they, that's okay to be different so <laughs> it's okay it is. Look, it could be the best, ripest peach in the world, but there's going to be people who don't like peaches. So, yeah, it's how it be. <laughs> All right, we're done. All right, folks, we'll check you next time. Thank you so much for tuning in to FYC Film Review. I'm your host, Gagne, and with me, as always, Naldo. Have a good one, everybody. Till next time.